Hi and uh, welcome to the Waters and Stanton video channel. I'm outside in the rain at the moment. <laughs> the stormy weather we've had uh, this February 2020 seems to uh, just want to continue. Uh, the wind has dropped a bit now but uh, it's now raining and it's still not really the ideal uh, weather to be outside and uh, messing about with antennas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about some ideas that I've uh, put into practice actually over the last few years when I've been out portable and uh, showing that uh, sometimes there is an alternative antenna system for portable operation. Um, you can use mobile antennas. So unfortunately I'm going to have to shoot this indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's really raining quite hard now. Uh, I'm going to have to shoot this indoors. I um, uh, hope you'll get the idea, well, I'm sure you'll get the idea. Um, it's just that uh, I can't uh, do it outside. But there we are, that's the British weather for you. So I'm going to now go inside, make myself a cup of coffee, and I'll see you shortly. Well, it's a jolly sight to uh, warm in here and uh, it's certainly dry as well so uh, I'm going to uh, do the rest of this video in the conservatory here and uh, well, I'm sure you'll find it interesting because uh, the practical side really makes no difference whether it's outside or inside so uh, let's, uh, let's have a look. You know for a long time I've uh, been using mobile whips for portable work it makes sense in as much as if you've got a mobile whip and you can use it for portable work, it saves by <laughs> a separate portable system. And likewise, uh, if you decide to operate portable and use a mobile whip, then of course you've got a mobile whip for going mobile. So uh, there's, uh, there's a bit of uh, cost saving there. Mobile whips really are no different from any other antenna. I mean, we call them mobile whips because they're designed for mobile, but uh, Really and truly the design is ideal for portable work as well and the size and height of them is very similar to uh, the number of portable antenna options. So as I say I've been using them for some while and here I want to show you the one or two ideas that I've used. Uh, no prizes for the uh, construction and uh, uh, the uh, sort of mechanical work but uh, uh, for me it works and uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas uh, as, uh, as well as to uh, uh, ways of operating portable. Here's an early uh, setup that I was using. This actually is from a buddy pole uh, um, tripod mount and I'm using the Hustler uh, antenna. The Hustler antenna is female and so is the buddy um, pole tripod mount. So I had to use a stud adapter, 3 8 inch stud adapter. And here you can see the um, Hustler mobile antenna mounted on the uh, unit. And there's the uh, earth connection from the, the buddy pole uh, tripod. This is a 40 meter antenna, Hustler antenna, as you can see it fits on OK. Um, you know, the only thing is you do need a 3 8 inch stud adapter because it's female to female. Uh, but that works quite well. Now this is uh, an early box that I was using. I've got a BNC uh, input there, I've got an SO239 uh, there and on the other end I've got a terminal for the radio. <coughs> uh, I've used here a a mount, uh, it's actually, actually a smart, it's a smartphone mount for tripods. And it just so happens that it will actually, it's actually wide enough to, to grip this uh, uh, this box. So it, as I say, this is a this is a smartphone uh, mount, primarily used for photography for mounting your smartphone onto a tripod. Now here's the diamond um, antenna which I put on this box. As I say, there is a spare hole there, which I'll, I'll um, explain a bit later. And this is on a uh, fairly uh, low cost tripod, but it works okay. And it's uh, all ready to go there. 
nice nice arrangement really the, the the tripod the only trouble is of course you've got to, you've got to take a, a tripod with you but uh, there you are it's quite a, a slim uh, assembly here and this is this is a diamond um, 20 meter whip base loaded I've used two different brands of commercial mobile whips for portable operation the first is diamond which is made in Japan and the second is Hustler, which is made in the USA. Uh, they're different in as much as the diamond uh, antennas have the standard PL259 connector, which fits many different uh, types of, uh, of mounts available on the market. Uh, Hustler use the 3 8 inch thread, which is very popular in the States. And I think over here it's uh, quite popular for um, uh, CB as well. What I have found um, is, because the Hustler range is, is, is basically you've got a top resonator which is basically the coil and the tunable whip above it and below it Hustler uh, offer a range of mass sections which are around about three to five foot high, something like that. I have found that you can dispense with the lower mass section and simply use the resonator um, section which is basically a, a, a coil and, and a resonator whip so it becomes a base loaded antenna quite a short one but it, it, it's worked for me and I have uh, in the past used Hustler resonator section straight onto a, uh, a magnetic mount for mobile work but perhaps that's a subject for another <laughs> another video but in the meantime for portal work I tend to use the Hustler um, as a base loaded antenna, in other words, I dispense of the lower mast section. And interestingly enough, dispensing with the lower mast section makes very little difference to the resonant frequency. So um, it's, uh, it's quite a practical uh, option there. Now I've included this shot uh, in the workshop because it shows you how easy it is to drill plastic. I've used a wood drill here and you can drill sizable holes for so two through nine and so forth. So it's, uh, it's quite easy. This is an RS case, which I'll mention a bit later in the video. Now here's the underside of the box that I was working on. And uh, as you can see on the left hand side is the radial connection, on the right hand side is the BNC, and then where my thumb is, that's the line isolator. Absolutely important if you want to get to a decent uh, low SWR, make tuning easy. And then on the top we've got a 3 8 inch stud connector for Hustler and an SO239 connector there for the uh, diamond HF antennas. Well this is the current box and I use. You can see two connections on there, one for 3 8 and one for SO239. And here we've got the diamond 20 meter antenna mounted on it. And uh, I'm going to show you the SWR that you get. So you see the SWR being drawn there. And you see it's really down to sort of 1.2, 1.1, which is excellent. I like the clutch arrangement on the diamond antenna. You just twist it, you can adjust the resonance and then twist again, it locks. Here we have the Hustler antenna. This is the 17 metre antenna mounted on the stud. And so the resonance there is adjusted with an Allen key on the uh, whip. So how do you... Uh, uh, connect it up outside without the unit tipping over. Well, you go to the garden centre and you get these little sort of clamps that they sell which uh, are designed to hold things in the ground and they certainly hold this uh, unit conveniently uh, in the ground, make it nice and stable and you can then plug your anten antenna of choice into it. I've got the diamond uh, 20 meter uh, antenna here perfectly stable, you just need to connect your radial on the left and input to the antenna on the right on the BNC. I certainly won't get any prizes for or in the construction um, competition but this little uh, unit which I've uh, made for my own purpose uh, enables me to use uh, a variety of different uh, antennas on there. And as I explained um, elsewhere in the video, uh, in here is a line isolator and that really is absolutely essential to get the uh, best results uh, for portable operation. It's something which a lot of operators I think uh, uh, tend to uh, forget, but it's, to, to, to my mind, it makes a big difference. The um, 
Little box, by the way, that I built this in. I've, I've used several of these boxes. Uh, they are from RS Components. They do a range of boxes. They're very easy to drill. They are weatherproof. And the both ends slide out, so um, it makes it very easy to sort of almost pre-assemble things before you actually box it up. But yeah, nice little box. And that really is uh, one or two ideas I uh, put to you for portable operation. As I say, I've used uh, mobile antennas for some while now. Uh, they work well. Radials, you do need a radial, of course, for... Um, uh, the uh, these antennas because you, you're not mounted on a car body so you've got to have something for it to work against and uh, I use uh, usually carry a couple of radials with me um, I tend to operate on 40 meters and 20 meters they're my favorite bands I do like uh, 17 meters but <laughs> unfortunately at the moment it's not very not very busy because of the sunspot cycle but uh, that'll come back in a year or so's time so as usual I hope you found this uh, video interesting and if you do, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, down uh, in Portsmouth, uh, we carry a range of both of these antennas, the Hustler and the uh, Diamond one. So uh, check our website or give us a call. We'd be happy to help. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.